Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Skinhead Hamza Shiraz is a dangerous Hamza Shiraz. <laughs> you know, serious when I get my, my head shaven and, and I get the old Mexican dash back. But yeah, no, I'm happy. I'm all good. Good performance as well. I'll say break it down. There's a lot to break down because yeah. although you were quite dominant in the fight, there was a couple of times he looked hurt and then recovered. And then yeah. obviously you got the knockdown yeah. with a, the body headshot. So a lot to break down, but yeah. just sort of try your best. So I got in there first run. Jabbed him and I, and I marked him and I knew since then I got I got him I got him what, from that first jab. Yeah, first, fight, I knew you, you can, a boxer's can sense in it and um, yeah I knew he was still fresh though I knew he was still fresh. He obviously had a good he prepared well because he was in shape. He went he went no mug and yeah man I just broke him down. I broke him down and I got the job done in I think good fashion. I need to see it. I ain't even seen it yet. Well, this is where I come <laughs> in handy. You haven't seen it yet. Replay. This is yeah. This is a live replay of you on the the body head. Oh yeah, it wasn't even that hard, man. It wasn't even that hard. It was just more placement. And what about the end? Yeah. One minute. One minute. Nearly. Did you just say it wasn't that hard? The guy folded in half. <laughs> it was more of a placement shot, I swear. And then little shots that I finished him with in the end. Yeah, the uppercut. Yeah. It was just all what I was practicing with Ricky. Honestly, it's good actually seeing it. Because normally I'd go more wider. When I finished off Ryan Kelly, I was a lot. I was wide. This this time I thought I'd tuck in and just finish off, and I and I done it, and it was alright actually. <laughs> People see you training over in the states and just think it'll be learning bits here and there, but to see something come into fruition in the ring, like you would have done things differently if you wasn't training with Ricky. So that exact stoppage is literally down to you changing the training settings, mixing it up, and becoming a better fighter. Yeah, exactly. That's the main thing. Remember what I said. I go. I've been out training in LA, but I'm not going to be a massively different fighter. As long as I improve and pick up even like 0.5% here and there, that's the main thing. And uh, yeah, got the job done and I'm, and I'm happy. I'm happy, Oscar, man. It was um, on to bigger and better things. On to bigger and better things. I heard you say to someone, this is the first time in a while you weren't nervous as well. Does that highlight how well the prep's gone or I don't know, like, why were you not nervous? The fans are back. It's a massive card. Like I thought, the nerves would be double tonight. No, no, I buzz off the fans. Honestly, they give. I feed off the energy. It's like it's mad. But I think because the preparation went so well, I had no doubt in my mind. I had no doubt in my mind. Preparation went spot on. I made the weight easy, very easy this time. I was like a pound under the weight since a long time. And yeah, man, I just took everything in for the first time. It took me 13 fights to actually take everything in properly. And yeah, it was good. It was good. And hopefully, like, hopefully more, more more come like that. I remember when I first saw you fight at the arena in Birmingham on the Lennox Clark, yeah. Lerone Richards undercard. You had a lot of fans then, yeah, when you won the title. You had a lot of fans then. Um, but the entourage is getting bigger. The fan base is getting bigger. I feel like Team HS is going somewhere. Yeah, hopefully, man. Listen, at the end of the day, as much as boxing's a lonely sport, the crowd is what actually make it happen. You know what I mean? Without the crowds, we've seen what it's like. We've seen what it's like. It's dead. It's dead. There's no atmosphere. And yeah, man, just a massive thank you to everyone who bought a ticket, everyone supported me. And if you don't support me, hopefully you will support me. <laughs> what you say about the crowd, we can hear Joyce has just been announced. You can hear the roar, it's ridiculous. Um, one more thing, what sort of statement have you sent out tonight? Obviously, you mentioned these guys at 154, want to see the domestic fights. They would have watched, even if they pretend they haven't. They would have watched tonight. What are they thinking? Well, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they'll want to fight me. Hopefully they'll want to fight me. And hopefully Frank Warren and Andy Aylin, whatever they say goes. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm under contract with them, I'm signed with them. He's a Hall of Fame promoter for, for a reason. So I just got to listen to what he says and carry on winning. If you want him to look at you and want to fight you, you might have to perform a bit worse than that. Sorry to say. No, no, no. I'll grow my hair next time as well. <laughs> just a quick one. Come out in the Sacker shirt. Look, yeah. I am the Chelsea boy, yeah. but I know exactly why you done yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you support Arsenal for your yeah. sins, but yeah, you came out in Sacker shirt tonight. A little sort of I heard you say a show of respect yeah. in the fact that you're an athlete performing on TV yeah. and sometimes things can get hard yeah. and we know he got like barrage yeah. of criticism, but yeah. Listen, at the end of the day, he's a young kid. He's a young kid, similar age to me. He performs at high levels, live on sports. He had the, he had the whole nation on his shoulders when he missed that penalty. Yeah, it's not an easy thing to do. And, I, and obviously the hate and abuse he got wasn't fair. Wasn't fair, wasn't fair at all. No, no athlete deserves that, especially a young one as well. And I just thought I would, I would show my support. I would show my support, and I, what, what a better, what a better place to do it than BT live on BT Sport, walking into, into a ring in front of fans as well. So I just want to show my respect and show that that I, I'm, I'm there for him, for any athlete, and hopefully vice versa as well. All right, well, well done tonight, and quickly, let's go and watch Joe Joyce. Yeah, <laughs> Joe, 